So, let's get started. Pour baking soda in a large glass container. Squeeze out some shaving foam. Mix until you get a uniform consistency. You got some white artificial snow. You can now mold a perfect snowball, which will hold its shape. And due to the shaving foam, it also smells frosty fresh. Roll balls and make a snowman. Insert an orange nose. Make hands out of the tinsel and draw buttons on his impeccable white suit. Artificial snow is such a godsend. What makes it even better is that making things out of it calms nerves and relieves stress. Now let's prepare shaped pasta and a foam ball. Using a hot glue gun, fasten the pieces of pasta to the foam. Cover the entire surface with the shells piece by piece. Create the shape of an elongated muzzle. Place bows around it. Glue a stand with a hole in the center. Attach the head onto it. Print out an image of some horns. Make small pasta horns. Attach them to the head of the deer. Glue ears from pasta. Cover the product with bright aerosol paint. Paint the eyes and nose. This stylish decor element will definitely cheer you up. For this life hack, you will need cardboard, scrap paper, and wooden skewers. Attach two strips of adhesive tape to the paper. Paste it on the cardboard. Make a hole in each corner. Insert the skewers. Tie with a string. Prepare threads of different colors. Bind the skewers with threads starting with the base. Alternate the colors of the threads and continue to wind the sticks. Decorate the entrance with feathers. Decorate the top of the wigwam. Secure the decorative braid. Put a safe candle inside. The wigwam candlestick will become a small but stylish accent piece for your interior. Do you like squashing squishies? Then this appetizing idea is especially for you. You'll need three sponges of different colors. Separate the soft foam parts. Cut the sponge diagonally. Cut out a cream layer from pieces of a foam rubber sheet and attach it to the pieces of sponge. Attach the triangles together with a hot glue gun. Decorate the cake with a strawberry and pearl beads. This cake squishy is super relaxing and stress relieving. To be honest, it even made me a little bit hungry. Worm is my name, eating apples is my game. To make a puppet like this, you'll need soft small pom-poms. Decorate one of them with googly eyes. String the pom-poms on a thread using a needle. The pom-pom with eyes should be on the edge. Attach threads to the head and middle of the body of the worm. Attach the thread to the ruler. Now our warm puppet can wiggle around. It's funny, it's cute, it's entertaining. The best way to cope with boredom is to dive headfirst into creativity. Let's try out an idea for creating an unusual art object. Put a canvas on a wooden frame. You will need scotch tape. Attach strips of tape in a chaotic pattern. Squeeze bright colors out onto a disposable plate. Use a sponge instead of a brush. Get some paint on the sponge and spread it on the canvas quickly and sharply. Let the paint dry properly and remove the tape. The end result is a unique stripy picture. Bright, stylish, and very unusual. And this life hack will help solve the issue of storing accessories. Print out a pattern on a piece of thick paper. Cut it out. Carefully fold the rabbit, pushing the paper along the fold lines. Glue the piece. Glue the ears. Let the construction dry. Glue the rabbits to the frame and place them in a convenient place. 
From now on, you no longer have to waste time finding your own jewelry. And now let's prepare a square sheet of paper and some paint. Fold the sheet in half and then in half again. Turn it around and bend the corners to the center. Turn over and fold the corners again. Fold the envelope in half. Put it on your fingers. You're almost done. Straighten the sheet and decorate it, taking into account all the folds. Fold the paper envelope again and let's go on some adventures with the cutest predator in the world. And now take a sheet of paper and draw a picture of a basketball player on it. Carefully decorate all the details. Cut it out. Print a colored background and paste the cutout parts on it. Draw the trajectory of the ball. Cut it out. Take the second sheet with the background. Attach it to the top and bottom edges using double-sided tape. Cut a strip from the third sheet with the background. Paste it between the sheets. Glue the ball. The result is a dynamic postcard. It's a wonderful gift for a friend. And now you need Elmer's glue and liquid soap. Put some glue in the container. Add soap from a dispenser. And a few drops of paint to add color. Stir until you get a smooth, thick mass. Now you've got an elastic slime. Make red and green slimes. Put a paper triangle in a cut-off Ziploc bag. Seal the bottom of the package using an iron and baking paper. Cut it. Put the red slime inside. Instead of a watermelon peel, put in the green slime. Add seeds. Fasten the bag and cut off the excess. This watermelon has something hypnotic about it. It calms and distracts incredibly. For the next life hack, you'll need a transparent container and some plaster of Paris. Pour the plaster in the container. Dissolve it in water as indicated in the instructions. Stir until it gets smooth. Leave it to dry. Take out the finished plaster figure from the container. Draw a twisty strip with a pencil along the whole perimeter. Deepen with a knife. Now it's a cube with paths and a maze. Clean the sharp corners. Put the plaster back into the container. Decorate with greens and sand. Pierce holes in the walls with a red hot needle and drip in some water with sugar. Populate the house with residents. Ants! Now you will have a real ant farm in your room. Don't forget to add a little water for your little friends. The life of these little insects is very interesting to watch. We'll tell you what can be done with a regular black sock. Cut off the edge. Turn it outward to twist the sock into a donut. Cut out some decorations from red felt. Attach the glaze to the donut with a hot glue gun. Cut out bright strings and make some confectionery powder from them. These tasty treats are ready. The donuts look very appetizing. What a shame that they are not edible at all. For this life hack, you need a sheet of cardboard and an equilateral triangle with a side of 3 inches. Use a template to draw a figure like this from triangles on cardboard. Cut it out following the outline. Fold the edges. Connect the adjacent triangles with adhesive tape. You get half a polyhedron. Fill the inside of the figure with food film. Now you need water and plaster of Paris. 
dissolve the plaster according to the instructions. Transfer the plaster mixture into the cardboard mold. Wait until the plaster hardens fully and remove the figure from the mold. Cover with silver spray paint. It's so shiny and beautiful! This silver pyramid can be used as a stand for books or as an element of decoration. Put a like on this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell so you don't miss new interesting videos from Troom Troom Select.